Hello and welcome to the Cultural Capacity Podcast. My name is Kara Gonzalez Howard. I'm going to be your hostess today. It is Friday. It is the last day of summer and tomorrow is the first day of fall. Today I want to talk a little bit about how I personally prepare for seasonal upgrades. So the change of seasons for me has long been a time to kind of stop, reflect on what went well in the past season and then think about what I would like to accomplish in the coming season. The seasons have always been an easy time for me to do this. We have a marked change in the weather typically. Um, We're preparing for different rounds of holidays, etc. The change of season has always seemed like the perfect time to reflect and recuperate and kind of prepare for what is to come. There are a few areas of my life that I routinely will evaluate at the change of season and more often as needed. The first things I kind of consider are things within myself and then move outward from there. So the first thing I usually consider is my physical well-being. Um, Typically during seasonal changes, I will kind of adjust my diet accordingly. There are certain foods um, according to ancient practices that are really good to incorporate into your diet during certain seasons. Um, Summer, for instance, you don't want to eat a lot of like deep fried heavy foods, uh, not a lot of dairy products, etc. Things that can lay heavy on your belly. Um, Fall, you kind of move into the more the warm warm weather foods like soups. So I just kind of do an inventory of some things I'd like to be preparing for my own personal meals and for my family's meals. I also consider my level of activity, meaning how I'm working out my body, how I'm routinely every single day, how much I plan to walk, what program I plan to use, that type of thing. I recently did a video on my current dance um, workout that I'm doing. I just started dancing again, so that's going really well. I plan to continue that program throughout the fall. I'm doing a 90-day challenge with that, so hopefully building some additional strength, and then we'll see what the winter has to bring. Next, I sort of look at my professional development. I look at current projects that I'm working on, what's working well, what needs to shift during this new season, what do I need to get rid of. I am a person who tends to take on a lot and I need to all the time be whittling down what I'm devoted to so that I can give full, attentive um, space for all of those uh, new projects and things that are going on. I like to do, obviously, we all like to do the best that we can um, on the things that we output into the world, and sometimes that requires me removing things from my to-do list so that I can make space for other things. This seasonal change is a great time to evaluate this. A lot of times things that I typically push to the back burner for an entire season, they just have to go. That doesn't mean that it wasn't a good idea, but it may not be an idea for this season, and that's okay. Might revisit it later. One other thing that I kind of evaluate during this time is my spiritual life. So if there's any kind of new learning I would like to be doing in regards to my own spirituality, if there are any new habits that I want to be building throughout the day in my connectedness, um, with my higher power, um, who I, I call God, but some of you may relate to God in different ways and have a different name. Some of you may not espouse to have a higher power at this time, but, um, it's something that, you know, as far as a spiritual practice connecting to ourselves so that we may, um, connect with others on a more deeply profound level and experience, deeper experiences outside of ourselves, both with experiential learning and also the way that we serve others is super important. Finally, I will look at how things are going in my relationships. Where do I need to be pouring my energy differently? How do I need to shift things so I make space for maybe relationships that I haven't been able to in a certain season? And then there's also the trimming component. 
who am I hanging out with on a regular basis that maybe is an energy vampire? Um, uh, we all have certain relationships in our lives that are, you know, maybe on the draining side, maybe even on the toxic side um, that we kind of maybe drag our heels about, but sometimes the seasons are a good time as we're planning for events in the future to kind of maybe be trimming um, out the time that we devote to those types of relationships and maybe make room for different relationships. Who am I wanting to make plans with in the near future? What am I wanting to do? Those are all things to consider. Uh, there, you know, obviously, as the fall season comes around, especially here in northern Indiana, we have different events that correlate with the seasonal change. We have apple festivals, we have fall carnivals, all types of different things where I live. So, I like to kind of put on my calendar the things that I absolutely don't want to miss and go from there. I hope you found this helpful and maybe a little bit inspiring as we prepare to go into the fall season in 2023. I always just get a little thrill from thinking about the new season. Um, I love all the seasons pretty much equally, but I especially love the crisp weather of fall, the kind of romantic environment with the blustery fall days, the gray skies, the colorful leaves. It's just a really beautiful ambiance to me. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a beautiful weekend, welcoming in the fall, preparing yourselves as you embark on another quarter of your life. Make sure you tune in next Friday. We'll be releasing another monthly episode of the Cultural Capacity Featured Voices. Meanwhile, we hope you subscribe, leave a review, follow us on our YouTube channel at Educator Aid if you want to see some of our videos where we're talking and interviewing in person. On that channel, we also release daily professional development, either in the form of one-minute shorts or sometimes lengthier 